simple economic theory. If there is demand for a product, the price of the product goes up. If a bidding war ensues, the price of the product goes way, way up. And that brings us to Shaquille O'Neal. Orlando wants him. The Lakers want him. The Tampa Tribune reports that Shaq turned down a seven-year, $119 million deal from the Magic. And ESPN has learned that the Lakers can now offer Shaq over $120 million bucks. Lakers GM Jerry West is set to meet tonight with Shaq's agent, Leonard Armato. Now Shaquille O'Neal will end up making more money than Alonzo Mourning and Juwan Howard, but at this rate, he could be making their salaries combined. The Tampa Tribune reports the Lakers are now prepared to offer O'Neal a seven-year deal worth just over $117 million, and they could go as high as 140 mil if they renounce the rights to Eldon Campbell. Laker GM Jerry West met with Shaq's agent Wednesday in Atlanta. O'Neal in Atlanta with the Dream Team, of course, says of his choice between L.A. and Orlando, quote, it's like two girlfriends and you want to marry both of them. We'll find out soon which team will get stood up at the altar. I asked Leonard not to involve me, and I don't want to hear numbers. When you think the deal is good, Leonard, and, I mean, because he knows the market. I mean, he's a lawyer. I mean, he's a market expert and all that. And I'm just, you know, and I'm just waiting. And I just want a, a fair, good deal. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Larry Beal here in the ESPN studios in Connecticut. We're breaking into programming right now to bring you a live news conference about to take place in Atlanta, at which Shaquille O'Neal is expected to announce that he has signed a seven-year, $120 million contract to join the L.A. Lakers. For those of you who've been following this story, you may know that Shaquille O'Neal has been the center of attention, the center of a bidding war between the Orlando Magic and the L.A. Lakers. The Magic desperately trying to keep their franchise player, the 7-foot, 1-inch, 300-pound behemoth, who's led them into the playoffs the past couple of years. Unfortunately, they couldn't get by the Bulls, but the Lakers also wanted Shaq. They made an initial offer of about $95 million that was not good enough. They upped their offer recently, and we'll go live now. That is Leonard Armato, Shaq's attorney, at the podium live in Atlanta. The most unique individuals in the entire world. Um, and it's really with great pleasure that I have an opportunity now to introduce um, Jerry West, um, a man who is not only one of the greatest basketball players that ever lived, but certainly the most well-respected general manager in the NBA. Leonard Armato, um, Jerry, it's Jerry my West, pleasure to introduce you, and thank you very Los much. Angeles Lakers, who met with Leonard Armato at midnight last night. He has uh, something in a plastic bag. Jerry West is uh, taking the podium now to discuss the negotiations. I guess they're going to. Uh, Take a few moments here before Shaquille steps to the mic. Let's listen in to hear what Jerry West has to say. I can't tell you how excited Southern California is today. I called our office just a little while ago, and uh, the response from bringing Shaquille O'Neal to the Los Angeles Lakers has been one that has been unprecedented in our history. In basketball, you know, there, there are a lot of players that are wonderful players. And I think in today's uh, sports uh, world, there are players that are stars. And there's one word that I've always felt that's been used very, very loosely, and that's superstar. The Los Angeles Lakers have acquired a 24-year-old superstar who we feel is going to bring us to that incredible level that this franchise has enjoyed in Los Angeles. Over the last number of days, I can't tell you how many highs and lows that I've gone through. From first meeting with Leonard and discussing what we could do to acquire Shaquille, and to last night at about 2.15 in the morning when we signed the contract, it's probably the most relieved I've ever felt in my life. But I really can't explain. Um, I've often thought that, that the birth of my children was something was I'll never forget. And just the excitement of this uh, for us to sign him really ranks right there with it. And I guess without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to uh, the newest Los Angeles Laker. He's going to wear number 34 for the Lakers. Uh, we have signed him to a seven-year career, and, uh, to a seven-year contract, and I'm not going to divulge the terms of that as prior uh, Laker policy, but uh, uh, I just can't tell you how excited I am, and our owner is absolutely beside himself. So we're delighted to be here, 
And Shaquille, uh, I'm going to present you with your new jersey and also a hat. Photographers now asking Shaquille O'Neal to pose with his New Jersey number. Uh, whom obviously uh, enjoys the Hollywood scene. He's got a movie out. Kazam, well, magically will reappear as a Laker next season. The Lakers shelling out the big dollars. Seven years, $120 million. Not coincidentally, the Lakers have also announced today that they're raising their ticket prices. The cheapest price of a ticket will go from $9.50 at the Forum to $21.00. Presumably, uh, some of that will go to Shaquille O'Neal. And let's hear what the big man has to say about a dramatic move as uh, the NBA landscape changes considerably from east to west. It looks like he just dropped the microphone. or uh, He's so strong that uh, he just crushed the thing, apparently. All right, here we go. Sorry about that. Uh, I just want to, you know, thank you all for coming out. And in case you haven't figured it out yet, I'm signing with the Los Angeles Lakers. And keeping... Keep in mind the word change. Uh, to me, change is for the good. And uh, before we get started, I would like to thank Richard DeVos and the Orlando Magic for helping my dream come true in 1992 when they drafted me. They have a beautiful organization. They have a great organization. And they helped me to become the good player that I am today. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, players for helping me look good. Penny Hardaway, Dennis Scott, Nick Anderson. And also, before we get started, I would like to end the rumor of, of feud between me and Brian Hill. There was no feud between me and Brian Hill. I respect Brian Hill as a man, as a coach. I love Brian Hill as a coach, and I want to wish the Orlando Magic good luck. And I'm just happy to, you know, receive a good deal, and I'm just happy to be here. And thank you all for coming out. Appreciate it. If you have any questions, Shaq, why did I'm you here. Uh... Why did you decide the Lakers and not Los Angeles? What was the, or, or, the Lakers and not Orlando? What was the telling decision for you? I don't hear you, Greg. Question, question to Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, Shaq, yes. people in Orlando watching live on television would like to know why you chose Los Angeles over the Los Angeles Lakers. What was the real reason? Well, like I said, you know, change is for the good. I'm a military child, so I'm used to relocating every, you know, three to four years and the Lakers they have great tradition they have great big man tradition George Mike and Kareem and I'm just you know I just want to go there and play hard and they have a young team also it's not like I'm you know going to a team with a bunch of old guys I mean they have a young team the West uh, play style is more open so you know hopefully I'll get to you know showcase more of my talents because I could do more than just dunk the tide turn Chad when did the tide turn I said to the fans of Orlando, thank you for helping me become who I am. I'm going to miss you guys. And I just want to, you know, tell them to continue to give the Magic support because Penny Hardaway is going to be a great player. Question is, yes, they appreciate yes, it. Yes, I do. And like I said, Orlando has some great fans, and I just would like to thank them. I'm, I, you know, I'm going to miss the children there. I'm going to miss doing things for the community. But, you know, hopefully, you know, guys like, you know, uh, Penny and Nick will, you know, pick up. It was a very, very tough decision. At that point, I mean, I was, I mean, I was, I was, uh, Orlando was the first option. And, and, you know, it was, it was a very hard decision for me. And this is going to be one of the hardest decisions in my life, going to college getting married, you know, which, you know, what stuff to do. And this was a very hard decision, but I think I made the right decision. And I'm looking forward to being a Los Angeles Laker. If Orlando had beaten the Laker offer, would you have gone back to Orlando? As I said before, it wasn't about money because I just love to play the game. You know, uh, old guys like Jerry West, who are, who are, who is a great player. I mean, he never made a, a lot of money. I mean, he just liked to play the game. And I, I just love to play the game. And I would like to, you know, thank Jerry West and the Los Angeles Lakers for giving me a good, fair deal. But, you know, money was not the main the main factor here. And, you know, I think, you know, people get, you know, tired of hearing money, 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 money. I just want to go, have fun, be young, drink Pepsi, wear Reebok, <laughs> and have fun. Shaquille, did the, did the Hollywood scene uh, entice you? So many people talk about that and even criticize. Uh, not really. I mean, you know, you know, people always say I, I don't, you know, 
concentrate on basketball. I do too much rap and I do too much movies. But you guys need to understand, there is no way possible that I could play an 80-game season and do a movie in a season. To me, uh, movies are an opportunity and, uh, like I said, an opportunity to have a summer job. I mean, I only do movies and do my music in the summer as well as, you know, work on my game. Uh, well, 32 is taken, <laughs> 33 is taken. And, you know, uh, when I was growing up, one of my heroes who, who was my father, you know, he played on the Army team, you know, his number was 34. So I'm gonna wear this jersey and, you know, the commemoration of the Sarge. Sarge, if you're looking, this one's for you, baby. So Shaq, it, it, it was last night that you finally made the decision? Yeah, I mean, I was, I was, you know, thinking about it. And then, you know, last night when I came in and, you know, I just, I just, you know, told Leonard to lay down all the offers and the Lakers gave me the best offer. Shaquille, did the poll in the Orlando Sentinel have any impact at all on your decision? They, when 91% of the population that actually res responded to the poll said that they didn't think you were worth the money? Not really. I mean, you know, the media in Orlando kind of, kind of bashed me so much. I just kind of, you know, stopped looking at the paper, like, you know, after my, you know, second year. But, you know, when I read stuff like that in the paper, it doesn't make me weak. It just makes me stronger because I like to prove people wrong. So, you know, if you people say one thing, then I just have to come back and do something else. And then it makes, you know, other people look, you know, crazy. And I just want to go out, like I said, maximize my potential as a person and a player and just have a good time. Do you think the building blocks are, are more in L.A. to have a potential to win a world title than in Orlando? The Orlando, I mean, Los Angeles Lakers, they have a young, great team. And with the addition of me, I bring a lot. I mean, I score a little bit. I play okay defense. And I've been working on my free throws, so look for a change on the line. Then, you know, we're just going to go out there and play hard. We're just going to win. I'm not going to, you know, take anything away from Cedric Sabalo's game or Nick Van Exel's game. Nick Van Exel is, is, is a point guard, the leader of the team. Cedric Sabalo is a slasher. Elvin Campbell is a rebounder, a score when he needs to. Eddie Jones and Kobe Bryant. So we have a good young team, and we're just going to go out there, play together, play hard, and we're just going to try to win. Mr. West, is there any concern about the Orlando Magic? They're talking about potentially filing a tampering charge. Uh, well, you know, that's something I'd prefer not to answer now, but I think if anyone had known where these negotiations have gone and the great links and the players we have removed off of our roster, and, and to be real candid with you, there was a couple of things we did that we did not want to do. We could not match a financial offer that they had first uh, put out there. And um, as early as... Saturday of last week, I, call, I talked to our owner and I said, Jerry, I, I said, I just don't think it's possible with, with, with what we have to offer. And I happen to work for the best. I know there's a lot of wonderful owners in the NBA, but I happen to work for the best owner because he encourages us to, to be bold. He encourages us to take risk. And this is a risk taking business, but that really doesn't concern us at all. So when you made the trade with the two players being shipped out to create more salary room, you didn't know at that point that that's what it would take? Well, we thought that that would get us in the, in the, the game. And, we'll, and our biggest concern and the reason that we made that trade, obviously, to, to show that we did have a terrific intention of trying to acquire him. How draining an experience it's been on Shaquille is the question. It wasn't that draining for me because I put Leonard in charge. You know, I told Leonard, I don't want to hear anything until, you know, the deal is comfortable, you know, until the deal is right. We had numerous offers, and I just, you know, told Leonard, he's my advisor, he's my agent. I just told him to, uh, you know, g give me the best deal possible. Shaquille O'Neal with some thoughts today, of course, in front of a jam-packed Reebok International here in Atlanta. All right, so you've got the gist of it there. Shaquille O'Neal signing seven years, $120 million. And this, this is a move that Penny Hardaway of the Orlando Magic is called devastating because he expected Shaq to return to the Orlando Magic. They do have Hardaway coming back. They just signed Horace Grant to a free agent deal. So the Magic aren't going to disappear completely from the landscape, but uh, they do have some problems in the middle. While the Lakers are now a formidable contender with Van Exel, Sabalos, Jones, Eldon Campbell, if they can sign him, and Shaq and Kobe Bryant uh, waiting in the wings. That'll do it for our coverage right now. We'll have lots more on the Shaquille O'Neal move to the Lakers later on the 630 edition of SportsCenter. Back to our regular programming.